Hey everyone, it's Christine of Twinkle Plants for Day, and today I will be doing a Bujo inspired spread using the new Myliner colors that should be out officially next week or the week after, let's say um, by the first or second week of April. My inspiration for this spread comes from a page that I did in my journal, something like this. Um, since I'll be working with rectangles here instead of squares, the diamonds are going to be a little bit um, longer or yeah, higher. So how I did this, I used any sheet of cardstock and I punched out this uh, a little here like this. I used the Happy Planner punch to punch out the rectangle and I wanted them all to be the same. So I just cut out a diamond like this and I just traced them in each box. So now I'm going to color them in kind of randomly, or maybe I'll just use this as a guide so I don't have to think about it. I'm gonna take the pages out of my planner so I can start. I did it all in pencil and I'll erase that afterwards, although sometimes erasing pencil marks after you use the my liner can be difficult. So I'm gonna take, here we go put everything aside, give myself some room, and get started. I'm just gonna color it in. Now, these my liners, these new colors are only available, or only will be available in um, the chiseled tip. There's a chiseled tip on one set end, and the other one is a fine point tip. So I'm gonna be using the chiseled tip just for more. Here, maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase it, I think, first, because I think it's a little dark. I'm just gonna lightly erase it yeah, I want to be I want to use them as a guide, but I don't want to be able to see them through the there we go. So I kind of have to decide what colors I'm going to do first. And if you can see here, some of them, so this was inspired by some Tuscan tiles um, on a kitchen floor. So some of the some of the triangles or diamonds are going to be colored in, and some of them the negative space will be colored. So I have to figure out which one I'm gonna do. Then after I do all the coloring, I will use some stickers. Maybe I will use some plant stickers, I, definitely some, some box stickers um, to put in the events that I have going on for the week, but I don't have that much going on. Actually, I need to find that page again because I'm gonna use that bag here so I can have a look at it as I go. I'm going to use the copper one first, and I'm just going to do, I'm gonna use the fine point for this one. So this is just, um, I'm gonna call this a Bujo inspired spread. Not using many stickers, maybe I will, if I can find the right colors, I will use stickers or I can just leave it as it is. I love doing spreads from time to time without stickers because it takes um, the pressure off always having to buy something new. Not everybody can buy all the stickers so I like to offer alternatives if you wanted to decorate your planner in other ways. Some people use scrapbook paper. I don't because I don't like the bulk of it. But I do love my liners. Okay, so, so I'm gonna outline it and then just fill it in. Here I go, I'm gonna turn it over and use the chisel tip for this part. And I have to be careful about how I I place it. And I don't want to put, I want to, I don't want to lift up my pen because then it makes, then I have all these white spots, really annoying. I wish they came in brush pens. If they had them in brush pens, it'd be so easy, much easier to use. And I'm just gonna tap out really quickly with my finger so I don't get any pooling of the ink. There we go. As you can see, there's a little bit of pooling. It's not great. That's gonna happen. Normal. It would happen with any marker. It would be less if it was a brush pen. See all the pooling there? I'm just gonna tap it. It's really hard to get a good solid without seeing all the marks on the bottom. I have to figure out a way to do that to minimize. One way of doing that is to keep the marker on the paper 
and don't lift it up. But these, because it's a chiseled tip, it's really hard to get in the fine lines. I mean, it's really hard to get accurate, accurate uh, marks. But anyway, it's going to be like that with any marker. And here's the part where I'm going to speed up the camera. It's just me coloring in the different shapes. And I think it's... Uh, a little probably a little boring to watch me do the whole thing i really wasn't talking much during this time i needed to concentrate and there's only so many things you could say while doing this so i'm going to cut out a lot of this it didn't take me that long though it seems like it took forever but i think it only took like a half an hour and i gotta say it was really relaxing i kind of let my mind wander i was going to put on some music but i didn't but you could definitely do that put on a candle put some music i don't know why i just did that with my hands I'm trying to figure it out. Oh yes, I know because I was talking about um, how the the green color, um, the paper when you use the green color kind of doesn't absorb like the copper one. It kind of just glides over it, so you get less pooling. Anyway, um, there's yeah you have to experiment with each color. It kind of the paper takes it in a different way. Anyway, I finished the left hand side and was starting at the right hand side. And for the right hand side, I just decided after I did the first box that I was just going to decide what all the colors were first before, instead of doing each box individually, I was just going to decide all the colors uh, beforehand so I wouldn't have to think so I can just do it instead of having to make a decision at each box and maybe do like one color at a time. So here I am just deciding where all the olive ones were going to go and if they were going to be the negative or the positive space as I erase do some erasings between each one. And I know it's a kind of busy and I'm not really worried because I don't have a lot going on this week. So I'm not worried about it taking up too much, being too busy and not functional, not as functional of a, of a spread. I do know that sometimes <laughs> my spreads aren't the most functional and that's kind of what decorative planning is. It's just a hobby, like you use it to plan, but I may have another planner with my to-do list. I often do have another, or a list somewhere else or a page that I'll look, I, maybe I'll do a daily spread if something gets very busy one day. I don't have to use this the whole week for as my only planner. A lot of us have more than one planners, <laughs> as many of you know when you're an addict, like I am. Actually, I, I kind of like the way it looks outlined, just outlined, but since I started coloring in, now I have to finish it. And I'm debating here whether I should add the stickers or not, if I should just leave it as is. A lot's going on in my mind. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done with all the boxes. Now I'm going to be taking out some sticker books to see what color scheme kind of fits like right on my desk I see already that I have the modern meow book let's see if there's anything here I could use that would fit into this I think this color scheme works really well maybe I'll even use a sticker or two like this maybe stick in a cat but it would have to be like on a clear not on a clear sticker but on a paper sticker because mm -hmm. I can't have anything going through all right, this is cute. Let's see, maybe I can't put any of these shapes because it would clash, but I do like these. Let's see. See, this color scheme kind of works. This kind of works. Interesting. These are clear stickers, so I can't use them. Also clear stick. Wait, are these clear? Yeah. These are clear. I don't think circles would be good. Kind of. All right, so I have some boxes or some flags even that kind of match. Let's see if it would go. Yeah, that might go. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So these two look, I like this one too, like this box. But it would have to be, I would have to block that out. I want plain, like this is too busy. I like this too, but I like this. Maybe I could put that down on the side, thinking about it. These are good too because it's just, let's see. Let me look in the camera and see how that looks. 
to put a sticker for something. Yeah, that works. I do like that, it, these two colors, maybe even that one too. I think it works. I'm gonna put that in my back pocket. These are too big. I think these, I don't want boxes that are the same size. It would cover up the thing completely. So like a smaller box, a square, or those little flags were cute. These are clear. Um, oh, here are some boxes. This is cute too, but I don't want any of these curves. Interesting, but not for this spread. These are cute too, these black and white ones to stick a cat in here. That would be adorable. It'd be even cute if I could make it like it's peeking out of something. If I can just cut it so it's peeking outside of, can you see that? Outside of, oops, oops, oops. Here, like if I cut it, have it peeking behind the curtain. I don't know. Something to think about. Let's see. These are cute too. Maybe, maybe, why not? These are clear. Oh, there's a lot of clear stickers in this book. I do like this book. All right, I'm gonna go back and check to see if I have any more sticker books that kind of match this color scheme. I will be right back. Okay, so I went through my books. I went, I found the garden book, but there's nothing really here that spoke to me. I do like Plant Mama for this. So I'm gonna put some plants, I think on the side. Maybe I'll put a kitten. So I'm gonna use this one and the Meow, Modern Meow for this. So let's see. Also in this book, I should mention, I saw these cute little boxes that really match the colors here. And I may just use those, these cute little boxes that are filled in. Let's just see how that looks. Let's do this gray one. I can put it over on here and see how that looks. Let's see. I hope it's not too, well, let's just put the plants first. I'll put the plants first and see I don't want it to be too busy. That's my that's my issue. I found some cheap plants I'm gonna put on the side. Here's one of them. Now they're clear, but if I put it on the side, it's gonna be okay. Wish I had more space here. Dear. I wish I had also I also had a quote that would be up here, but I can't find anything that I like. Here's one plant. I'm gonna put another plant on top, like this one here you can't see here we go maybe another long one here if I can manage it and then one on the side here let's see what I got I might use these because I think they would look good. But I want to keep it to a minimum. Of course, when I, once I write on it, I won't care. But here's another one. I do like this one as well, this little. I don't want too much either. I'm going to have to rethink this. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if I should take this off and put this one on the bottom here. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, I like this on the, on, the, on the bottom. I can cut it off a little bit. There we go. That's cute. I don't want too much. Maybe I'll just leave it at that. Maybe I can put this plant. I, mean, I can leave this blank. I can put a piece of sticker paper over this and just put a plant on this side sticking out. Let's see how that looks. And I can put a little cat. Let me move this screen a little, this camera a little bit higher. There we go guys can see better all right I like this sticker too but may not have a place so maybe you can just put it up here
Okay. Maybe I can put this one up here on the side. It'd be cute if I had a little quote. There is one that says, you grow, girl. Maybe I could use that. Or plant a happy life. That's cute, except that it is on, I'd have to put it on sticker paper. I actually really like this. The colors are perfect. Plant a happy life. I should put it on sticker paper and then cut it out. Oh my God, it's such a cute quote. All right, I'm gonna cut it out. I just hope this is not too busy, it's hard. It's hard to tell. I also like this Life is Short by All the Plants. Cute. Um, let's see. I have this cute little sticker too. That's adorable. Let's put in my boxes. I'll keep those to a minimum and they should all be of the same kind. I do have something on Thursday, something on Tuesday. Let's find out which one I'm going to put. Oh, I do love these kitty cats. I probably will end up putting a cat on it. Isn't this the one that had those little flags? Here, yes. I'm going to use this one. If that's all I have, then I can't use... Oh, here we go. I'm going to use this one. Let's see, I'm wondering if boxes now would be better. No, that's cute. I'm going to put one more of this color up here. I also have this cute kitty cat. God, I love my cat. Here we go. I'm going to put one more up here. Okay. It's a little busy. I get it. It's busy. Sometimes you got to take risks. This is cute. I can just... Put, I wonder if I can just put something like this, this sticker over one of the boxes. Let's say this one, or up here, say down here, just to cover it as a sort of break in the design. You know what? I rarely use box stickers. I'm going to use it. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. I think I could use this. I'm just gonna cover this. Not that I made a mistake or anything, but I just think it'd be cute. Yeah. And maybe I can put a cat up here. This one's adorable, especially with the with the little crosses on it. The design. Cute. I don't know if it's too much. I don't know if you'd even be able to see it if I put it in this one. All right, I think that's going to be, I think I can add a couple more. Let's see, I thought I saw in Plant Mama. Oh, look at the rainbow. I kind of want to put a rainbow. Would it be too much? I'm a sucker for them. Plant a happy life with a little rainbow on the side. Is that too much? Oh, 
Did I just put it down? All right. It's probably too much. And I can't find those stickers I was looking for. Oh, I like this. Uh, plant dreams and grow a happy life. Keep growing. How about something down here? Like a little. Might be too much. It might be too much. I still have these I can put on. I can layer this a little bit. Like if it wasn't too busy enough already. All right, that's gonna be it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram at Twinkle Plans for Day. I will be posting um, a link as soon as they come out. I'll be post posting a link on where you can buy these new colors, the Mardliner colors, which I think are fabulous, as well as um, the desk stand that I have here. This desk stand that's amazing. It's going to be coming out also on their website next week, and I will be posting a link on that. It's only ten dollars. I'm going to grab one as soon as it's uh, as it's live, and to put my other pens. Cannot wait, guys! Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.